ಗ್ರೀಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹಲೋ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಪೆಟ್ಟಕ್ಕ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಶೋ ಯು ಎ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ಟು ಕಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಸೇಲ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ವೈಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಮಂತ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಡ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪವರ್ ಬಿ ಐ ವಿತೌಟ್ ರಿಲೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ by the end of this video you will learn how to calculate last 3 months sales and in that how to exclude the current month from the calculation with the help of basic dax functions it will be a step by step implementation with a real world business example make sure you watch till the end and subscribe for more power bi insights let's take a real world business scenario to understand the problem imagine you work for a retail company that tracks sales performance your manager wants a report showing sales for the last 3 months but he wants to exclude the current month because sales are still updating for current month now let's jump into data and solve this problem first let's check our data set we have a sales table with columns date and sales amount in sales table and we have calendar table with columns like date year month month name and this is the dax function i used to create this calendar table if you want to create video for this let me know in comment section i will do it in future videos then go to modeling tab and make sure you have a relationship between these two tables and it should be like many to one or one to many with a cross filter direction single save it now let's create a dax measure for that go to table view and right click sales table choose new measure let's make it little bigger so that you can view it in proper way we name this measure as last 3 months sales shift enter first we create a variable current month or first we create current date to store today's date for that we use today dax function shift enter second we create a variable 3 months ago 3 months ago to store from which date our sales should begin calculation for this we use eo month which is end of month tax and it is asking for two parameters first one is start date for start date we use current date variable comma and how many months it should go behind so i use minus 3 close the parenthesis now we get last day of 3 months before example now we are in january 2025 and it will give output as 31 october 2024 but 
we need to start the calculation from 1st November 2024. So we add plus 1 to this calculation to get the required result. Next, shift enter. We create a another variable and we name this variable as current month end to store up to which date our sales should calculate. For this, again, we use EO month and we use current date, comma and give zero because we should calculate sales up to today or till date. Shift enter. Next, we use return keyword to get results from variables. Shift enter. We use calculate DAX function. Within that, we use sum of sales amount from sales table, close the parenthesis, comma. We use filter DAX function and we select table as calendar table. And to remove filters from this table, we use all DAX function. Comma shift enter. Now we give filter expression as calendar date. is greater than or equal to three months ago and shift enter calendar date less than or equal to current month end. Shift enter, close the parenthesis of filter DAX function. Shift enter, close the parenthesis of calculate DAX function. Commit. Now, in this calculation, we have included the current month for last three month sales. So, this calculation will sum January month sales. December month sales and November month sales. To exclude January month sales from this calculation and to include November month sales, December month sales and October month sales, let's create another measure for this. Let's copy this entire measure. Commit. Select sales table, choose new measure. Now paste it and we name this measure as excluding current. Now we replace minus 3 in 3 months ago. We replace minus 3 with minus 4 and we replace 0 with minus 1 and commit. This will exclude current month from the last 3 days sales calculation. That's it. Go to report view, select table visual and drag and drop date date from sales table and let expand it 
drag last three month sales including current month. Let's rename this table as total sales. And now we can see date including January month, December month and November month and the total sales. Next, select table visual, drag date column from sales table and drag last three months sales excluding current month. And let's rename this as total sales. Now, in this table, we can see December month, November month, and October month sales. It's excluding current month. Select line chart, drag date and place it in X axis. Drag this measure last three month sales, place it in Y axis. And now we can see the sales trend for last three months which is 25K, 27K and 29K. Let's see how we can achieve the same results using time intelligence functions. Go to table view, then right click sales, choose new measure and name this measure as sum of last three months. In this measure, we use calculate DAX function and sum of sales amount from sales table, comma, shift enter. And now we use time intelligence functions dates between. To calculate the sum of sales between two dates, let's select calendar table, comma, and for start date, we use EO month and use today, comma, minus three. It will return the start date as current date from current date to minus 3, minus 3 months before. Close the parenthesis. It will return the last day of the 3 months before. But we need the first day of minus 2 for that plus 1. Comma. For end date, again we use end of month. And we use today, comma, zero. Close the parenthesis, close the parenthesis, commit. It's asking dates between and dates in period functions are only accepting date column reference as a first argument. So, for that, what we need to do? Instead of selecting calendar table, we select calendar date. And now commit. To exclude current month, let's copy this measure. Select this measure, copy. Select, right click, new measure. And let's paste this measure here. And we rename this measure as excluding current and we replace minus 3 with minus 4 and 0 with minus 1 commit let's validate these measures output go to report view and create card visual 
and drag and drop measure sum of last three months. Let's create another chord visual and drag and drop sum of last three months excluding current. Now these values are matching with these total values. As you can see, our measure is dynamically adjusting based on the current date. Now we have a report that always shows the last three months sales by excluding the current month. This approach is useful for many business scenarios such as analyzing past sales trends without incomplete current month data or ensuring financial reports exclude ongoing sales updates and also it is useful for studying sales patterns without biased current month figures. Let's quickly summarize what we learned today. We learned how to calculate last three months sales in Power BI using time intelligence functions and without the help of time intelligence functions and explained how to exclude the current month from this calculation with practical business applications in this technique. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more Power BI tutorials and comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next Power BI tutorial.